we beat them six to two. Oh, did you see Sully bend that last kick before his school? Bam, wait up. Hey, Sully, 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 um, you, you did great today. Thanks. Congratulations. Sir. Someone has a crush. So you think he'd be interested? In you? Oh. Um, Spin doesn't want to be brutal, so uh, I will. Sully, you're um, you're not really as tough. But I can think of ten guys you would be adorable with. I don't want to be adorable. Bunnies and puppies are adorable. And if you don't want to be cute, don't be. Just change your image. Simple as that. <laughs> my mission for the year. I'm calling it Sight. Students improving the environment. Cool. We'll have letter writing campaigns and endangered species week. Wanna hear my mission? I wanna be hot. Not cute, not adorable. Hot. Wow, there's no way I'm getting dumped this year for being too young. For your drinks, kiss it to the air, working for no sleep. Tell you I've been there now. You might wanna watch your back. I ain't here teasing. Where's my juice? Oh shoot, Daddy always forgets something. I'll be right back. I never forget the energy fuel. At a boy. There you go. So. Ready to celebrate tonight? Your grounding for skipping class? Finito. Yes. Man, our band so needs their lead singer back. Band? You guys have a band? Well, yeah. I mean, we don't even have a name yet, but uh. This is so cool. Did I ever tell you guys I was in a band? Like a million times. Hey, uh, you guys, what about rehearsals? Yeah, do you need a space? I got a space. You can use my space. Your garage? Yeah. Anytime you want, alright? Rock on, dudes! Everybody wants a man. The frog, a member of the amphibian world. Many frogs are equally at home in marine environments as on land. This amphibious class of creatures' life cycle involves some of the most fascinating and dramatic. <coughs> Sorry. In all of biology. I was, like uh, I was just most looking at your. At me, what? But there are can, I, can I see that? You know, I do do doodle interpretation. Doodle interpretation. Your doodles say a lot about me. Really? What do my doodles say? Well, uh, this flower one here. JT, quiet, please. Hmm. Look at this place. Candles. Music. You in an apron. <laughs> what can I say? I enjoy creating an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that road work? Ah, oh, it's Craig's band. Um, could we pop in for just just a minute?
it up. Hey, guys, how's it going? Whew. It's going good, it's really good. Still finding your sound? Well on the road, Mr. Jeremiah. <laughs> All right. But guys, three guitars, aren't you kind of limiting yourselves? No, let me, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I got, uh... That's it. Huh? Huh? It'll play piano, it'll do sax, bells, whatever you want. This thing will do everything. What, you think I should join the band? Uh, no, I was going to just, uh, uh, jam with you guys. Show what? you what you're missing. Yeah. Uh. This is a wicked little number. I'm going to dedicate it to my baby Angie and my sweetie, Sydney. All right. Joey, what's the key? Uh, H? I don't know. Just go. Just go. One, two, three. That's it. Everybody wants something they'll never give up. Everybody wants something they'll take your money and never give up. I know, he was totally flirting. It was weird, but at the same time, kind of nice. Oh my god, you like him. No! I mean, he's cute, totally cuter than last year. And I'm glad he's interested, because it means my new look is working. But he's still just JT. Oh. My look still feels too tame, or, or cute. It's not this. This is what I need. A thong. What? It's perfect. What do you think? I think they shouldn't sell this at the mall. Hmm. Boy, you better dig deeper, because I tell you I'm all game down. Uh -huh. Truth is going to come hit you hard, and you know what I'm talking about. Talking about. So just try shaming me one more time. I mean, this whole thing is just weird, man. I've known Manny since I was about four. Last year was hot older women. This year it's hot younger ones. So what? You're right. So what? So I like, big deal. I mean, it's not like she's become a totally different person. You have to show your entire body. I didn't ask for your opinion, Liberty. What I wear is none of your business. Fine. But it's against the code of conduct. And if someone were to point that out to Mr. Radich, I'm sure I'd think it was his business. Hey. Hi. Are you sure this isn't too much? You look great. You know I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. And apparently JT agrees. <laughs> Just go talk to her. Uh -uh. So what are you going to do when he asks you out? When who asks Manny out? JT! Isn't it so cute? Oh, I didn't know you liked JT. I'm right. Go. Okay. okay. Better hurry up and decide. Okay, okay. Manny. we got to go to a meeting, so bye. Hi. Uh, I guess, let me guess, I just uh, interrupted a big talk about endangered platypuses. <laughs> um, something a bit more serious. Well, I mean, uh, what's more serious than a mammal that can lay eggs? I don't know. You tell me. Hey. Manny, right? This thing, are you gonna be there? Yeah, yeah, well, my, my best friend is organizing it, 
Great. Well, uh, maybe I'll show up. Manny? Manny? Oh, sorry. What, what were we talking about? Platypuses. What's more serious? Manny? Oh. If your parents want to buy a tropical hardwood toilet seat, don't let them. Every year, millions of hectares of tropical rainforests are destroyed. And rainforests are important for so many reasons. They are home to many species of animals and plants. They provide oxygen and fresh drinking water. And they just love me. I'm so cut down. Accessories. What's that show for? Manny, uh, Manuela. Be a wise consumer and only buy wood from a managed regrowth nice. forest. <laughs> if your parents still insist on buying tropical hardwood, tell them that by buying the toilet seat, they're destroying the rainforest. Our planet's lungs. Caitlin! Joey! <laughs> Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, actually, I was wondering if I could borrow that video camera that you had at Spike's Baby Shower. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what is it, for Angela? Actually, it's for Craig's band. Band? Yeah. Oh, you must be having some serious flashbacks. Oh, am I ever. We were jamming in the garage last night. It was, like, totally like the zits again, all over. Uh, jamming? Yeah. <laughs> Joey, you're not a teenager. I know. I just thought that the boys could use some direction. I know you thought that the zits were a joke. I did not. But if we had some guidance back then, maybe things would have been different. And maybe if you'd written more than one song. <sighs> there you go. Camera. Just, uh, uh, never mind. What? Just remember that they're teenagers. That's all I'm gonna say. Bye. Get your profile, man. Joey, this is just a rehearsal. I really think we should hold off with the camera. And... We talked about this, guys. This camera is your audience, all right? And stage presence is just as important as your sound. And speaking of sound, uh, I know you guys want to play your own music, and I think that's a great goal, OK? But maybe you should start with some covers first, like uh, maybe some George Michael. Greg, I know you know the words to faith. Joey, what? Just think about it. Okay, I mean, you guys have to learn how to walk before you can run, okay? Hello? Oh, hold on, I can't hear you, hold on. Yeah. Man, Joey's uh, brutal. Gotta learn how to walk before you can run. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, it's funny. In a sad and pathetic kind of way. Yeah, dude, you really need to talk to George Michael? Yeah, Faith? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> what am I supposed to tell him? He's so deluded, he thinks he's in the band. He's embarrassing himself, and he doesn't even know it. Attention all student club organizers. Remember hey, look who's here to help. I'm sorry. I really wanted to go. But you were abducted by aliens. Close. I had to help Mr. L in the shop. How was it? Well, you're practically the only guy in the school that wasn't there. Should I be jealous? <laughs> they weren't there for me. No? Or the environment. They only wanted... Hey, Em. Hey, Sean. <laughs> I'm just gonna take down the rest of the posters in the Thanks. hallway. That was an amazing turnout, huh? Yeah, if any of them come back. Don't worry. I'll make them. So, what's happening with GT? What do you like better? Manny? Or Manuela. Sully likes Manuela. He says it's exotic. Manuela Santos. Oh, yeah, did you say something? Yeah, but it was nothing. Manny, I've been meaning to talk to you about your attire. It contravenes the code of conduct. But everybody wears crop tops. It's not about the crop top. I expect you to show up tomorrow in an outfit that does not reveal your undergarments. But lowriders are in, and I... And I've had complaints. So no more visible underwear.
Hey, did you turn everything off in the garage? Uh huh. What are you watching? Footage that I shot. You should check it out. I want to show you what I'm talking about with that stage presence thing. Oh, I went too far. Gotta learn how to walk before you can run. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it's funny. Miss that empathetic kind of way. Dude, you seriously need to talk to him, right? George Michael? Yeah, Faith? Hey, shut up. What am I supposed to tell him? He's so deluded. He thinks he's in the band. I think I'll... He, he's embarrassing himself. He doesn't even know it. Manny, I know you were really upset they were at its best studio. Actually, it turned out not to be such a bad thing. Do you want to get suspended? What? I'm not breaking any rules. Manny, Mr. Raditz said? He said. No visible underwear. Do you see any underwear? No. That's but... right. Because I'm not wearing any. So frogs, they're amphibians. They live both on land and in water. And they find food in both realms, insects, small fish, and even other frogs. So who wants to feed our web-footed friends a little snack? Manny. Sure. Why does Manny get to feed these frogs when I don't? <laughs> because you didn't volunteer. Well, I, uh, I volunteer then. OK. So feed them and then sit down. OK. Students interested in participating in the regional science fair should see Mrs. Hanselak. <clears throat> uh, hey, Manny. Hey, JT. Look, uh, I was just wondering if maybe you were free tomorrow? If we could maybe uh, go see a movie or something? Uh, see this, JT? Bye bye. Actually, JT, I'm busy tomorrow. I'm sorry. Manny, um, I need to talk to you. Um, now? Sh sure. How could you do that to GT? What? I didn't do anything. Uh, no, you just broke his heart. Emma, come on. You're getting this huge ego. I am not. Just because I'm dressing like... You're dressing like an idiot. But what I really care about is how you're acting. I'm always there for you, Emma. When you fight with Sean, when you find out your mom's pregnant, for your stupid environmental club. It's not stupid. But the one time it's not about you, you do this to me. I'm just concerned. Because it sounds more like you're jealous. You know what? Just forget this. Fine. This is who I am now, Em. And if you can't accept that, then don't talk to me. Hey, I thought you are never coming home. Uh, I had rehearsal in Marco's basement, and, uh, and, uh, uh... Joey, I'm really sorry. I should have known better. No, you were trying to help. I was, I... Craig, when I was in high school, my band, The Zits, meant everything to me. I mean, they were good times, some of the best. Anything felt possible. 
And then one day I wake up, I'm in my 30s, and I have a daughter and a teenage stepson, and I'm thinking to myself, whoa, when did this happen? I guess I was just trying to feel that way again. It's in Marco's basement, huh? Yeah. You know there's better acoustics in the garage. What about the keyboard? It's back in the box. Thank you. Manuel, something wrong? No. Everything's just great.